A Prayer for the Journey by Lindsay Tedder, read by Leah Martin. I am sure of this, that he who started a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Philippians 1.6 Do you ever feel like you're just so far off course that you'll never reach your goal? I know I sure do from time to time. I all too often feel I'm just too far off course to make it to where God has destined me to be. When I feel God's call in my heart in a certain direction, I want to jump. I want to move instantly, but I frequently get distracted. Life starts to happen, and I decide that what I'm currently doing is more important than the journey that lies before me. I can't see the end game, and sometimes the journey towards his destination is terrifying. Have you ever felt like you were supposed to do something that was well beyond your comfort level? For many years, I designed a delicately crafted life of comfort. I wore comfortable shoes. I bought comfortable furniture. I didn't push myself in any certain direction. What I learned through this season of comfort is that comfort equaled stagnation. Ouch. I'll say it again. Comfort equals stagnation. By staying comfortable, we're staying still. When God calls us, the journey is typically anything but comfortable, yet we must still move. I know this is painful to digest, trust me. When I lost the ideal that my life was supposed to be comfortable, I was able to clearly see that pain and discomfort aren't always a bad thing. The journey of your life was predetermined long before you were born. Your father knew that you would venture off path. He knew you'd mess up. He knew you'd slip up. He knew you'd falter. And he certainly knew you'd delay. But the word says that he never stops carrying out the work he started in you. Praise his name. He never gives up on you. He will ensure his plan is carried on to completion. No matter what you do or how badly you attempt to derail his plan, he will continue to carry on his good work until completion. This is as true today as it was when Paul wrote it to the church in Philippi. Paul made sure to add in this verse, the key phrase, until the day of Christ Jesus. Friends, until Jesus comes back to earth, our Father will continue to see that His plans are carried out. He will continue to ensure that His plans are completed. He knew we'd mess up and delay and attempt to derail, but the good news is, He accounted for our humanity when He called us in the first place. There's nothing we can do to screw it up. So long as we believe in His Son, Jesus, and the sacrifice that was made on our behalf, our Father will diligently and lovingly continue to redirect our course to ensure we're on the path towards His predetermined destination. I take great comfort knowing that my humanity is no match for the strength of our Father. Today, let's pray over our journey. Let's pray that His will be done, despite our humanity. Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for your reminders that are as pertinent to me today as they were thousands of years ago. Thank you for sending your son to die on the cross. Thank you for the assignment you've placed on my life. I know that I'm far from perfect and get scared of the destination you've assigned to me. Erase my fears. Embolden me to fulfill your call and give me grace when I wander off course. I'm ever grateful that you forgive me and redirect my steps. I pray for the journey to which you've called me. I know that there's pain and fear and uncertainty, but I also know who holds the GPS of my journey. You know where I am. You know where I'm going. You know that I will continue to mess up. And I know 
you will continue to guide me. Your grace is sufficient for my weaknesses and distractions. Take captive my heart, Lord, and make it accountable only to you. In your matchless name we pray. Amen.